Here we are in Berea, Kentucky, staying at the Old Kentucky Campgrounds and RV Park. There's a very special man that works here, so let's go and meet him. Right off Highway 75 in Kentucky at exit number 15, you'll find Old Kentucky Campgrounds. At first glance, it looks like just any other RV place with its store and supplies that any RVer might need. But there's a very special man that works here. In fact, he manages the place and maintains the place and keeps it working well. Right behind this glass window is his little corner where he does his work. And boy, is it a lot of fun to watch him work. My name is Jim Bowman. I'm the manager here at Old Kentucky Campground. I've been cutting coins since uh, 1975 and I've cut stuff from all over the world for uh, a whole lot of people. And I've had uh, an opportunity to uh, run across southern pennies here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a southern penny, but in the uh, when Lincoln was running for Senate up in Illinois, he was running against a little fat guy named Douglas, and they had the Lincoln-Douglas debates. And uh, people came from all over the country to listen to him speak against one another on issues of the day. And this little girl went up after the uh, debate and said, Mr. Lincoln, you're a real good speaker, but you're not very good looking. He said, you ought to grow a beard. He went home and asked his wife, and she, his wife said, yes, Abe, you are ugly as a mud fence. Growing a beard probably would uh, enhance your political aspirations. So he does grow a beard, wins the election, and goes off to Washington. It's a serious time in American politics then in the 1860s, and he wants to present a serious image. So he uh, started wearing an undertaker's outfit, a big stove pipe hat. As he walked down the streets of Washington there, he said a real impressive image. And his political advisors told him when he was getting ready to run for president that he was doing real good in the polls up north, but he wasn't doing very well down south. He needed to come up with a gimmick to pick up the southern vote. So this is a little known fact, but Lincoln started smoking a pipe. Of course, back then, the only type of advertising they had was campaign posters and newspaper ads. Each and every one throughout the South was a picture of Lincoln standing there with his stovepipe hat on, corncob pipe hanging out of his mouth, a little smoke coming out of it. Instead of vote for Honest Dave as a vote for the Southern working man. Vote for Abe Lincoln as a vote for the Southern economy. Well, we never had any luck with Yankee politicians. We haven't had any luck with any politicians. But occasionally, as you travel through the South, you find one of these rare and famous Lincoln pipe smoking pennies. I'll put that right on this card, and I've got some advertising, and you've got a souvenir. Peace, love, man. This is the coin that uh, Jim just cut out for us. About a minute to do the whole thing, and what an interesting story he was able to tell as he cut out the coin. Now, besides being a coin cutter, Jim is also the manager here at Oak Kentucky Park, and he keeps the whole place running, as well as running the whole business of the park. Pretty incredible man.